Oh yeah, this is it. This is the spot. I am now sitting in my favorite place in the house where I can just hang out with my family. Hence, you see uh, all these toys and you know stuffed animals and pillows and blankets that may or may not belong to my children. But the point is, this is my favorite spot in the house where I can just lounge around, watch some TV, and you know maybe play a game or two with my pink PS4 controller. Why am I bringing this up? Well, because I feel that you don't always have to have something that makes sense to people. You know, this is cluttered. This is a little bit rickety, but it's the spot where I can just relax and be myself. Kind of um, selfish in that sense, but that's okay. Some people might be wondering, why does Michael have another desk set up? But surely no one needs another desk. Well, yeah, that's true, but that's also okay. Welcome to another desk setup video. If you've been following me for a while, maybe here or at least my Instagram account, you might recognize this desk behind me. This is actually the first desk that I, or the only other desk that I uh, featured in my first uh, desk setup video, and pretty much the desk that I've been using for the last two years or so on my Instagram page. And even though I have a new desk that I absolutely love and I use it every day for my actual work, this one kind of has a special place in my heart. You know, I didn't want to throw it away. I wanted to make a, a space instead inside my office where I can just kind of sit down and relax and not necessarily work. That said, this doesn't have to be any sort of desk. Like it's not a productive desk. It's not an editing station or any of that. It's just a place that I can express myself and I don't know, it's just a space that I like. I would like to share this with you and to kick things off, I guess we should start with the desk itself. Make my way through here. Oh God, lighting, it's hot. Uh. So this desk right here is actually an old Ikea desk. I think it's about 10 years old or probably more. And I know a lot of people have been asking me what the name of this desk is. Unfortunately, I don't know. But what I do know is this is 63 inches by 30 inches. So it's a pretty wide desk and honestly has stood the test of time considering the age because it's still in really good condition. A couple of scratches and stains here and there, but it's not really the desk's fault. But also I wanted to sh uh, share that if you are trying to start your own setup and you're looking for a starter desk, I highly recommend you check out your local listings like Facebook Marketplace or even Craigslist. You know, obviously be careful because considering what's going on right now, it's uh, might be a little iffy. But yes, that's definitely what I would recommend because there's a lot of people who are moving or maybe businesses that are closing that might be selling furniture such as this for a really, really good price. Snake, snake my way through there. Oh my God. I have a very small office space. Lighting everywhere, I'm sweating and it's not even pointing. So the next thing I decided on was choose a desk pad that would go on top of this desk. There's a lot of options out there. You can get leather, you can get linoleum, you can get um, wool. In this case, I chose Grove Maid's wool one in light gray. And I chose the extra large size just because my desk is pretty big and I wanted to put the desk shelf on top of it. So I wanted to make sure I have enough room. This desk pad adds a little bit of um, a cozy feel to the desk and I really, really like that. It's nice to put my equipment on it like cameras and phones or iPad, anything with a screen that could scratch easily. Uh, one of the things that I've been asked a lot is, does it feel weird to use a mouse on top of it? Does it have any sort of resistance or does it get caught in the fibers? You get a little bit of resistance. Actually, it doesn't make it feel uncomfortable. I've edited using this desk pad and I've been using it for over a year now and honestly I really don't have any problems with it. Every now and then you get some little fibers here and there but it's not to the point where it's really annoying or you know gets your your mouse dirty or anything like that so I highly highly recommend it. To match the overall theme of my desk I decided to get Grove Maid's um, desk shelf in the maple color because the finish of the wood is basically the same as this Ikea desk. And also the, the tray that they have here is the same wool material that they use on their desk pad. I love the little details that they put in their products, such as the cork material that they use and the fact that you can see 
the metal that's inside it, it matches perfectly with my peripherals and even my iMac. Not to mention the perfect slot for my 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Before moving on, I would actually like to say that this video is not sponsored by Goldmade. I just genuinely love their products. I've been buying their products for years now. Their tagline is actually, we make things the hard way, and you can tell by the quality of their stuff and the way they look. So my desk setup would never be complete without my headphones, and obviously I need a headphone stand. And once again, if you haven't guessed yet, I chose to get Grove Maid's Maple headphone stand. It's beautifully made. I know it's somehow of an overkill for just a headphone stand, but honestly, it's really, really designed well. The materials they use, again, it's just really, really nice. I like the fact that it's heavy because it's made out of metal and solid wood and some leather. Also the same cork material. I mean, look at the details that they have. These are the things that you won't see, but yet they put some effort into making that. And because it's heavy, it doesn't wobble at all. Unlike my other cheap headphone stands, if I put my headphones on it and just take it off, it's just it's just gonna stay there. It's a choice of quality and design, and I really, really like this, and I think it goes very well with the rest of my desk. Okay, so I promise you this is going to be the last Grove made product I'm gonna show you, but this is the newest one that I got from them. It's their wall shelf in maple. It matches perfectly with my desk shelf. It has the same materials as well. The wood is just, just like the desk shelf, and I've set it up in a staggered layout just so I can fill up the space. Makes the wall a little bit more interesting than your standard shelving. I'm a big fan of cars and I wanted to show that through my setup. So I decided to hang this deck that I received as a gift from one of the companies that I collaborated with a few months ago. They're called Lugcraft and they make beautiful car-themed wood engravings. But I think any desk setup wouldn't be complete without a chair. I actually have two chairs now. I still have the IKEA one, which I will not try to pronounce the name, but I do have a new chair made by a company called Autonomous, and it's the Ergo 2 chair, which I basically use pretty much every day now. Very, very comfortable chair. It's about the same price as the IKEA one, but this is definitely more ergonomic. I would say this is friendlier to taller people. For my computer, I'm still using my old 5K iMac that I bought back in 2015. Honestly, it's still a good computer. It's a little slower than what I'm using right now, but for just general browsing, um, typing up emails, or even just designing, I can still use it perfectly fine. For the keyboard, I'm using the iQnix F96 Cat keyboard, and I'm also still using my Magic Mouse. For the rest of the items, they remain fairly unchanged, like this PK5 Bluetooth speaker by LG, my white Tomans LED desk lamp from Amazon, a Satechi PD desktop charger, and the Sum Dial wireless charger. And that concludes my third desk setup tour. Pretty much just like that couch over there. This is just a space for me and I can be completely selfish about it. I don't have to explain why I have to have any of these things. It's just things that I actually like. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button, but more importantly, hit that subscribe button. I wanna take this opportunity to say thank you, actually, because I've, I'm actually kind of blown away at how this channel is uh, has grown. It's a small channel, I realize that, but I honestly, I just never really thought that it would get to where it is right now. And just thank you for the support. I really do appreciate that. I would like to apologize because I know people are going to be asking about that lamp over there. I still don't know where my sister got it from. It's a gift from her. And I promise you, as soon as I find out, I will let you know. It's a pretty lamp. I also would like to invite you to check out my podcast with fellow creative Chelsea Horn. We call it the Coffee with Creators podcast, where we basically talk about photography, tech, and just general life as creative professionals. Oh, also social media. I think you might find it interesting. So please do check it out. Everything else that I've mentioned in this video should be linked down in the description below in case you need help finding things. I'll catch you guys again pretty soon. So until then, take care and stay safe.